Officials say there's now more water in Tulare Lake than in some of the state's reservoirs, but fears have eased of extreme flooding in surrounding communities. A remarkable event unfolded in California as Tulare Lake, a once thriving giant that disappeared in the 20th century, suddenly began to refill itself in 2023, leaving locals and experts astonished. This historic lake, once the largest freshwater body west of the Mississippi River, is making a rapid comeback, but it brings with it a terrifying secret. Amidst heavy rainfall offering relief to drought-stricken areas, some reservoirs, including Tulare Lake, are nearing capacity, posing a threat to nearby communities. Tulare Lake's history, from thriving Native American populations to its disappearance due to agricultural diversion, is crucial to understanding this unfolding natural disaster. Once a haven for unique ecosystems, this landlocked lake's fate changed with the arrival of European settlers who converted it into farmland. Over time, the lake fluctuated between drying up and reappearing, earning it the nickname Ghost Lake. Now, its resurgence is a double-edged sword, rekindling memories of its glory while presenting a severe risk. Join us today as we explore the mystery of Tulare Lake's rapid refill and the daunting challenges it brings. As the year has unfolded, California has witnessed an extraordinary series of atmospheric rivers, bringing abundant rainfall throughout the winter and early spring. And guess what? The outcome is nothing short of astonishing. Tulare Lake, once vast and covering around 800 square miles, is making a remarkable comeback Though it's now a fraction of its former size, spanning about 111,000 acres with depths of 5 to 7 feet, this rejuvenated lake has become a thriving ecosystem, bustling with fish and attracting numerous bird species to its shores. It's a cause for celebration for many, with tribal members marking the return with a special ceremony. However, amidst the joyous resurgence, there's also heartache for some local families. Corcoran the largest nearby city with a population of 22,000, felt the impact first. Floods forced the closure of several routes, raising concerns about the resilience of smaller communities. In fact, two smaller towns, Allensworth and Opa, had to evacuate as they faced the threat of being swallowed by the rising waters. These floods also pushed several dairies to move their cattle to safer grounds. But what really paints the picture is the satellite imagery captured over the past few weeks. These visuals provide a striking testament to Tulare Lake's return in California's San Joaquin Valley. They reveal the sudden transformation of vast expanses of land that were once dedicated to farming crops, some of which stock our grocery shelves nationwide. The reformed lake now stretches approximately 10 miles at its widest point, as shown in images provided by Planet Labs to NBC News. The relentless onslaught of over a dozen atmospheric river storms throughout the winter battered California and sadly led to the damage of over 1,200 structures in Tulare County. The loss is significant, with thousands of animals perishing, crops destroyed, jobs lost, and homes evacuated. These floods have also exposed the long-term consequences of groundwater pumping. Over the past decade, certain areas of the land have sunk by as much as 15 feet, altering the historical lake's topography and making it more prone to flooding. As we move into summer, with rising temperatures, the situation may worsen as the Sierra Nevada mountains snowpack melts and flows into the already swollen rivers. Authorities are working tirelessly to mitigate the emerging challenges posed by Tulare Lake's resurgence. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, we'll reveal the warning from meteorologists about the reappearance of Tulare Lake. But before that, it's important to note that California's state water engineers have been hard at work implementing various strategies to manage the lake's rapid return. Despite their efforts, the lake's expansion persists establishing itself as a significant and enduring presence in the state's agricultural region. Local heroes have also stepped up to help with mitigation efforts. One such hero is Mr. Coughlin, an airboat pilot stationed 230 miles away in the San Francisco Bay. 
he's been diligently removing sunken electrical transformers from the lake. In fact, the lake's incredible resurgence has even prompted the King's County Sheriff's Office to secure its own airboat, recognizing the need to adapt to the changing landscape. Sergeant Nate Ferrier of the King's County Sheriff's Office was amazed by the lake's sheer size, admitting that, like many others, he had not ventured far beyond the shoreline. While law enforcement urges the public to stay away from the lake and respect the do not enter warnings, some adventurous individuals have taken daring to layer lake selfies, wading into the waters for a thrill or capturing stunning sunset views. A few even attempted to drive across the lake, leading to dramatic rescue missions as they found themselves submerged and swimming to safety. Journalists are not to be outdone, embarking on their own adventure across the lake, setting off from Bakersfield to the San Francisco Bay. The story of Tulare Lake's resurgence is not just a natural spectacle. It's a captivating tale of human resilience and adaptability in the face of Mother Nature's surprises. This vast bay, nourished by the Kern, Tulare, and Kings Rivers, currently holds an impressive 2.5 million acre feet of icy snow water, slowly melting and causing the lake to swell. The lake's size, however, depends on the pace of snowmelt and the ability to redirect water elsewhere. Efforts are underway to manage this influx and prevent flooding that threatens nearby farmlands. The ingenious approach involves temporarily guiding floodwaters over agricultural terrain to recharge vital groundwater, essential for enduring droughts. Reservoirs play a pivotal role, storing water for irrigation in farms and orchards. Moreover, Channeling water into the ground helps rejuvenate depleted groundwater supplies, a consequence of drought and excessive pumping. A significant volume of water from the Kern River is even being diverted to the California aqueduct, supplying crucial water to cities like Los Angeles. But the question lingers, is this diversion a lasting solution or merely a temporary band-aid for a much bigger problem? While these strategies offer respite, they aren't a permanent fix. Nonetheless, they do help combat issues linked to groundwater depletion and excessive pumping, which contribute to soil compaction. In response to the looming summer flood threat, communities are capitalizing on the break between winter storms and spring thaw to bolster their defenses. The California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection is seizing dry weather to elevate critical roadways and enhance evacuation routes. Emergency responders are hard at work reinforcing levees and deploying innovative portable barriers to manage future water flows. Recent weeks have seen farmers and emergency workers collaborating to fortify levees and minimize the impact of relentless atmospheric river storms. While sandbags and super sacks have been deployed for mitigation, their effectiveness is uncertain, especially given the numerous levee breaches that necessitate rescue operations. The situation remains fluid and challenging, demanding continued cooperation and preparedness. The unpredictability of weather patterns underscores the need for adaptive strategies to address persistent flooding. As Californians grapple with the repercussions of Tulare Lake's resurgence, they stand united in their determination to navigate these trials and safeguard their livelihoods and cherished landscape. Yet, the flooding's impact extends beyond agriculture affecting construction projects and multiple communities, exposing significant dam-related issues in the state. How can we strike a balance between infrastructure development and preserving our natural landscapes? According to a well-versed researcher, the ongoing flooding unfolds as a gradual natural disaster, and current infrastructure falls short of handling its scale, posing a substantial mitigation challenge. While California officials are ready for a prolonged battle against the floods, it's evident that conventional methods like sandbags and super sacks can only provide limited relief. The overwhelming water volume from the Sierra exceeds existing facilities' capacity, making mitigation a daunting task. When water reaches the historic lake bed, options for removal are limited, necessitating heavy reliance on evaporation, canal diversion, and pumping. However, given the high cost of these efforts, impacted residents, primarily low-income communities, faced limited options. Many already struggle to secure food and live paycheck to paycheck, 
emphasizing the severity of the situation for farm workers and rural communities throughout the Tulair Basin. The flooding threatens their livelihoods and well-being, as expressed by a community organizer from Allensworth. While not as massive as a snowfall catastrophe, the current flood is raising eyebrows. The best bet. A cool summer for a gradual snowmelt. Kings County residents are gathering, worried about the months ahead. Uncertain about the flooding extent, they stress the need for preparedness. But what's next? Brace yourself for something unusual. Experts predict months of crisis in California's Tulair Basin after years of drought. Allensworth residents are taking action, preparing for mosquito season, and worrying about contamination risks. Their fate hinges on water in various forms, and meteorologists hint at more rain. Despite challenges, the local economy remains resilient, and Tulare Lake is reclaiming its ancient glory. But hold onto your seats because the real adventure is about to begin. We'll be keeping a close eye on Tulare Lake, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned, because in this rapidly evolving situation, every minute counts, and we'll be here to bring you the most exciting and terrifying updates as they happen.